Our top story this hour, according to the United States' top infectious disease expert, Dr. Anthony Fauci, antibodies which stop the coronavirus from spreading in the body is a promising strategy for averting severe illness from COVID-19. Antibody-based medications, other blood products from recovered patients and antivirals are being investigated as early treatments before the vaccine arrives. The aim is to prevent patients from developing serious lung damage from the virus. In an interview to Journal of the American Medical Association, Dr. Fauci said, and I quote, We are focusing very heavily now on treatment of early infection and prevention of the infection. And that's the bridge to the vaccine. The top infectious disease experts said that the immunization against the virus could begin in the United States in November or December, but added that it will probably take until at least the end of 2021 for enough Americans to be protected against the virus. Fauci also added that 100 million doses of the vaccine may be produced by December, with all six companies supplying the U.S. slated to make 700 million doses by next April. And for more on this, we are now being joined by Professor Amos Pane, who is a virologist at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem. Thank you so much for joining us. So a landmark study now claims that insufficient interferon may be the reason some COVID-19 patients get very ill. Impaired interferon response may be a dangerous turning point. Can you tell us a little about the role that interferons play and how it can affect those with the infection? Yeah, the interferon usually is a compound which is made by the body and it helps us protect ourselves from, from infection, any viral infection. It's not specific to corona, it's a general for influenza and any other virus. In the case of COVID-19, the situation is more complicated because the, the virus is able to block the production of interferon by our body, which is quite unusual. So patients do not get their own interferon during the infection. And there is an idea that we have to supply them by injecting them with interferon from outside, such that the disease will be uh, much milder due to the interferon uh, defense. So That's now the study. Yes. Sorry. No, no, please continue. So now there are studies, clinical studies, that are aimed at showing what is the benefit of treating patients with interferon. We know that interferon is not a dangerous compound, so it can be injected. It has been used in the past for hepatitis B vaccine, hepatitis B infection. So we are waiting now to get uh, enough data and decide whether to use it as a tool to prevent the disease. Yes, I was actually going to come to that next uh, to ask you about the efficacy of synthetic interferons which have been used to treat other diseases like you mentioned. Do you think this would be able to help patients at risk at this moment? Yeah, definitely. And uh, this is now under study. And uh, in fact, in a few months or even less, we should get a definite answer whether it was while to use synthetic interferon which is made, by the way, in India and is sold all over the world by uh, Indian uh, pharmaceutical companies against different diseases. All right. Also, could you tell us a little bit about the practical implications of this study? The practical indications are once we get a positive answer, and I expect that we can get a positive answer, will be that patient getting at early phase of infection to the clinic will be injected by, by interferon. And hopefully this way, the disease would not get serious. He will have a mild disease. If we manage to catch it early enough and stop it on its way before it, it makes damage to the lungs. So definitely it's a, it's a good uh, strategy and I'm pretty optimistic that it will work. 
Also, just for more clarity on this, according to the United States top infectious disease expert, Dr. Anthony Fauci, antibodies which stop the coronavirus from spreading in the body is a promising strategy for averting severe illness from COVID-19. How would you assess that? Yeah, uh, we know for a long time that antibodies injected from outside helps in many other viral diseases. So the, the idea is that once we get good antibodies produced and purified under GM conditions, under good pharmaceutical conditions, then we can use them to block virus infection. And in fact, these antibodies, again, we are, they are not toxic. They are not really drugs. They are the body own product. We just purified it from, from our bodies, from bodies of infected individuals who are now producing these antibodies, and we can use them safely to block the infection. In fact, we can even use them to prevent the infection. So it's a kind of, a, I, I shouldn't call it vaccine, because it doesn't protect us for a long time, but this type of antibodies can protect us for a month from getting infected. So it's good prophylactically and it's good after infection. All this right. Is very all right. Professor Pani, thank you so much for joining us and for all those inputs. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.